You may notice some of the audio in the videos are cut out. That's so the loud clicking doesn't happen. Thousand feet up uh, to an elevation of about 10,000. Okay, so some animals I'm hoping to see on this trip yellow bellied marmots, American pikas, American porcupine would be awesome, uh, rubber boas, uh, a couple more. The snow plant is pretty cool. Um, tree frogs, they have uh, American tree frogs, and finally, salamanders and king snakes. All this big old bush right here is a huckleberry oak. Uh, this is a green leaf manzanita. Yep. Way up there. Is that a lover's leaf? Yep. Let's keep going. I'm gonna have to identify what type it is. Looks like a uh, scaly bat. This is the California tortoise shell butterfly. Notice how bright the inside colors of its wings are. This is the same butterfly, but with its wings closed. Look how well it camouflages. Okay, so right here is a snow plant. Um, they're all over California, from Sacramento to the Alps, even in, um, LA they have snow plants. Uh, they get significantly bigger than this. These are tiny. Uh, There's another snow plant. A lot of uh, ferns. I believe those are Rocky Mountain maples. Now let's look at some cool trees. Tree is still living. It's got a hole on the side, and there's a that's a big piece of granite right there, huh? It's got sap running down. That's so cool. Looks like it's like a hobbit hole or something. It's massive. Look at it as we go. Right here, the whole thing just uprooted. Just look at it. Carry this boulder, even. Holy smokes. That is unbelievable, huh? The force that must have brought that down. We're way, what, we're like one third way done? Oh man. I got my sick uh, birch bracelet. Pretty cool. I found. Looks pretty nice out here. From this point on, we are in a national forest. Uh -huh. Yellow-bellied marmot. Look at he's eating the greens. There he is. You can see him. Just be quiet. This is what we came here for, folks. Yellow-bellied marmot. Oh, it, there it goes, running up. So yeah, this is like right here, the prime marmot. We're only halfway up the mountain. We've gone up 2,000 feet. Uh, we're at 2, about 8, now, and we're going to 10. The marmot's right there. Oh That's my God, cute. he's so cute. Can you, can you see him? Up there? Yeah. He 
went behind that rock. That's the thumbnail. Notice the marmot eating all these greens. This is because when they're not basking or sleeping, they're foraging, looking for all sorts of food that they can eat. This is what you guys are looking for. Real quick, I'm gonna go. Careful. Sneaky mode. This is a yellow-bellied marmot, or some people call it the rock chuck because it looks like a woodchuck, but it lives in the rocks. They're herbivorous, meaning that they eat plants and fruits, leaves and blossoms, and grass. They also occasionally eat grains and insects. They typically live about 6,500 feet up in forest openings where there's rocks. They live in colonies which dig holes throughout the ground and live in groups up to 20. They weigh about 11 pounds and hibernate during the winter. One more cool fact about them is that they whistle. Okay, so we're just over 8,000 feet right now. Right after the marmot, we got snow. You know what's coming. All rivers and streams start like this, from snow melt or high up lakes. Or something, but uh, this is where a lot of streams start. And I just realized I'm standing in water and my feet are kind of wet. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have any video, but we do have some of these photos that we took here. It was just way too cold to take any videos. Here I am, it's super foggy on the giant rocks you'll see on the way back. I was quite miserable. As you can see in this next photo right here, I tried to hunker myself down in some rocks to escape the wind. And this is us at the top. We finally got up and I'm in my sleeping bag. We're in a little ditch and protecting us from the wind. We have all sorts of food. Here's me eating some soup that we made on the jet boiler, nice and toasty and warm. Here's a little bit more of it. And here's kind of our setup with their sleeping bags and everything. We're on top of Pyramid Peak, 10,000 feet. And it is, the wind is just blowing. You can just listen. We're all snuggled in. Thankfully, we're a bit shielded by the wind here. But it's definitely cold. Into the 30s, maybe the 20s right now. Listen to that wind. One good thing is the clouds have lifted. You can see the stars. We're hoping for a clear day in the morning and hopefully the uh, winds will die down.
So this is an American pika. They're a small diurnal species of pika, and they are herbivorous and a relative of the rabbit. Now it's time that we start working our way down. I've been wanting to find for ages. These are harmless, I can pick this up. That's a rubber boa. Excited to head. What is this, Ethan? He's pooping on me. Okay. What is this? That's a defensive mechanism. It's a rubber boa. Okay. He's pooping all over me. Okay. Oh my god. Let me take a look at him. There's his head. Yep. Oh my god. He's... Look at it. It's dripping down my hand. Okay. Ethan, what'd you get? A rubber boa. It's okay. completely harmless. He's trying to ball me up right now. Okay. Oh, and yep. There he goes. Okay. It feels like rubber. Okay. I'm, god, I'm shaking. This is awesome. So my hands stink right now because uh, he pooped all over me, which is a defensive mechanism with these guys. Okay. The head is, oh, that stinks. I'm going to have to use my hand sanitizer. <laughs> his uh, tail looks like a head. Uh -huh. Like you said, yeah, I didn't know. I figure out which side is his head. Yeah, which side is the head. What you're seeing here is the tail end of the rubber boa. See, it really does just look like his head if you pay attention to it in the next slide. It's just really crazy how it looks like the head. Okay. He's trying to get, oh, that's more poop. More poop. But yeah, he's, uh, he's harmless. You want to let him go now? Yep. Okay, we're going to say bye to Mr. Rubber Boa. The Rubber Boa is a non-venomous snake native to North America. They're a smaller species of boa, and 
they have loose skin that's often smooth and shiny, which gives it a rubber-like look. They're a constrictor, meaning that they suffocate their prey by squeezing them. He's a beauty. I'm gonna let him go right where I found him. Oh, oh look at my hands. Oh, little guy. Yeah. Notice how it barely slithers, but still moves. Sure is pretty. I stick a birch bracelet. Big thanks to our Patreons, Daniel R. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you don't, someone will. Thanks, and see you later.